Hi everyone, it's Miss Amy, and today is Friday. Uh, so we're gonna do a fall um, kind of great November craft. Uh, what you need, uh, so we're gonna make um, Indian corn, and we're gonna make it into a little uh, wreath for your door. So here is small bubble wrap. And then I have um, paper, cardstock or whatever. Uh, what I'm gonna do first, um, and then I have uh, orange, yellow, brown, and red paint. Uh, I have paint brushes. If you need, I need all the paint brushes. Um, I have a glue stick so that I can glue them together. I have green, um, I have green paper, which I am going to make into the um, the kind of uh, it's not fronds, but um, the husks of the corn. So what I'm going to do first is kind of cut this in a corny shape. So I'm going to cut them all. I'm going to cut just a whole bunch of them. So it's kind of rounded and flattish on the bottom and then it kind of comes in a little bit like corn, there's gonna be different ones. So here's a few. And I need um, I need five or six because, you know, this is, um, this is going to be um, a wreath on the end. So, here we go, like that. Okay, so these are a little different. I'm just gonna, Put them all down here so they get all mixed up. And then these, I'm just gonna go like this. And this one is gonna be a little flatter. Okay, all right, I hope that's super fat. Now I have a whole bunch of um, corns so that I can go right around after I build them. Uh, so uh, next step uh, that we are going to do is I am going to um, just put a bunch, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press these down because it will be easier than pressing this down. Um, so I'm gonna put, uh, I'm just gonna put a bunch of orange all over. And temper paint works way better, but right now I don't have any temper paint. So uh, I'm, I, I mean, not temper paint, acrylic. Uh, this is tempera, but it's it's gonna do for today. So um, I'm gonna get a, you know a good amount because I need. It to be on there and then uh, and I'm gonna use different brushes for each of them um, then I'm going to just kind of put it all over so that there's different colors all over like this so we get different colors okay brown Indian corn is all different colors. I don't know how they do it, how it works, but it's super cool. So, okay, and I may have to put more, I probably will have to put more paint on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it right on here. I'm just gonna press and, and then pick it up and all the little, oh, love it! all the little kernels, all the little bubbles from the bubble wrap are going to um, come up. So now I'm just going to put that off to the side. Okay, so I'm going to do um, several of those. Okay, and then if I decide, yeah, 
that's already starting. So I'm gonna need to put um, some more paint on. Um, I'm, I'm gonna put some more paint. So I'm gonna do some more yellow, like this. Do some more orange, like this. so that I can use them and they can dry. So I'm gonna keep going. And oh, I'm gonna do a little bit more in the corner over there. There we go. All right, I'm gonna put that one out there. Um, I'm gonna do this one. I'll squish it in like that. And then I probably need to put some more paint on. Yep, okay, so. So, again, I'm gonna do a couple more. And I'm gonna press it. Ooh, it's really coming out good. I like this. All right, so I'm just laying them all over the place. I'm gonna finish doing all of these like this. It's a really cool way to do this, to make Indian corn. I'm gonna do two more. And again, uh, acrylic paint um, works, but uh, this is what I had. I had uh, temper paint, and it was the only paint that I had yellow in. So that's why we're doing uh, it with temper paint. Um, I'm gonna do one last one. This one's gonna be lighter. I gotta squish it, squish it in, see if I can pick up that paint. And then I have them, and they're all starting to dry. There you go. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm letting those dry, okay? And I'm gonna move this, I'm just gonna move this off um, because I don't need this anymore and I need it out of the way. Okay, so now I'm gonna cover up my paint so that my paint doesn't spill, so I don't have any accidents. We don't want paint accidents. That would be horrible to have a paint accident. Um, just put that all in So now, let's see, we're somewhere. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is now I'm going to um, I'm going to cut some um, some corn. So I'm gonna do it like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like this. to be different, so you want each one to be different, but this is going to go on here, and that way I can, let's go back to the first one, so I can put it right on there 
like that. Okay, so there we go. Like that, love it. And then I'm gonna do, so I have another one. I'm gonna put that one right on there. Okay, so here is another corn. Okay, you may need to let it dry for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna see if I can use this one. Even though this one is a little narrower, I don't know if I can. Oh, I bet if I do it like this. Okay, I can go like this. through I guess a little bit because when I put it all together you're gonna see this okay so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna glue this all together around like this I'm gonna glue it glue it like this like this and like this and then you have a beautiful uh, Indian corn wreath. So try this at home. Uh, even if you want to just do, you know, some Indian corn, you could just make uh, like a bundle of Indian corn. If you have any corn stalks, you can put corn stalks, you can put some string, you can hang it upside down like this and make a bunch so that it was like that. Oops, um, that as a wreath, like that. Um, like that. So you do that or you can just keep it all together in a wreath like that. So try this. Hugs to you all. Happy November. Miss Amy. <laughs>